Hi, this is Bernie from the Walworth Library, and I'm here to do a Crafty Tuesday with you. And today we're going to repurpose an old sweater to make some mucklucks or sweater socks. And for this craft, you're going to need to have an old sweater, um, some felt, or uh, an old pair of blue jeans to use for the sole of your mucklucks. I use felt, and I also have an inner layer of uh, a Sherpa-like material just to make it nice and soft on my foot. Uh, you'll need some floss and I used a piece of yarn to crochet just a, a couple pieces through so that when it's on I can just tighten around my ankle so that it doesn't uh, flop around on me so that I have a nice secure um, hold. So for this craft, I started with a sweater. I went to the thrift store and I had been doing some old um, crafting using uh, repurposing old sweaters. And what you want to do is make sure that you turn your sweater inside out before you start cutting. And you'll see that there's a seam. What you want to do is first of all make sure that the sweater sleeve is large enough to accommodate your foot. And then you're going to cut your fabric so that the seam side is attached to the sweater sleeve that you're cutting out. That will prevent unraveling. Um, you won't have any problems with your fabric uh, you know, in terms of how you get frayed ends and, and then it starts to make holes in it. You won't have that problem. I will show you on my uh, fabric sleeve that I already cut out. Here's my a seam end, and here's a seam end around the sleeve itself that I cut out. And I started doing this video, and unfortunately, I went to pause it and I stopped it instead. So um, I have a little bit of this done already. But what you're going to do is take your felt, um, or if you're using blue jeans as your, your sole, uh, you can do that uh, as well, use an old pair of blue jeans. I took a flip-flop, a pair of flip-flops, and um, I just took one flip-flop and I put all my fabric so that I was going to be cutting everything at once. And of course you have a left and a right, but um, all I did was I, I flipped them over after I cut them out. But I cut all my pieces of fabric at one time so I had the same size. And then on your sweater itself, you're going to have a seam that runs down the length of the sleeve. You're going to want to make sure that's positioned toward the back of your fabrics that are going to be the foot. So everything is turned inside out at this point. This is going to be my inside of, in terms of where my foot is going to sit against a nice soft fabric. This is going to be the bottom. And I just started at the back to attach my uh, fabric to the to the sweater sleeve making sure that the seam that's running down the length of the sleeve is at my heel in the back and I just lost my needle there it is um, I threaded my my floss and it came undone so I'm going to have to do that again but we're going to be using a um, simple blanket stitch to put this together and you'll see how quickly that this will go for you so I have this is inside out and I'm attaching my softest fabric that's going to be against my bottom of my foot to the right side of the sweater sleeve and I'm just starting at the back where the the seam is and I'm going to do a simple blanket stitch and if you haven't seen a blanket stitch before you're inserting your needle into all the fabrics bringing your thread up and just looping it around. Okay, so looping it around once around your needle and then pulling up. So you see how that thread comes across? It just, uh, it fastens everything a little nicely for you so that you're not gonna have a lot of loose ends. Now you can do it this way as well in terms of getting your loop in there and at the last minute putting your your thread, your needle through the thread so that it makes that line. Either way works. 
All right, I'm going to continue going around, and this time I really will pause my video rather than stopping it, and I'll be back with you as I work my way around to the front of this. Okay, I'm coming back with you because I'm almost all the way around my sole, and I want to show you what's going to happen next. So here I am. I've done the blanket stitch all the way around. And I'm just finishing up the last few stitches. And uh, <laughs> this is such a burny thing. Um, <laughs> I ran out of embroidery floss of, of this color, so I had to uh, run and get some at the library <laughs> so I could finish up the project in the same color. All I had was red and green. That's not going to help me since I was working with purple. Okay, so I'm just finishing up the last stitch and I want to reinforce. I'll go through a couple times to uh, make sure that nothing gets loose. And then we're on to the last step. And this too is a burning thing. I have a little knot going here. But never fear, we'll fix it. Even if I have to take my thread out. Okay. Yep, I have to work back a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me just get this threaded again. You ever have one of those days where you really wonder what you're doing? Mm-hmm. That would be today for me. There. All right. So to finish this up, I just want to put a couple of... Um, couple of stitches in over the top of one another so that it's secure. And then I will tie off with a little knot. Okay, I'm going to clip that. And we're going to turn this now so that it's right side out. And what I did on my other one, I don't know if you recall, but on my other one, I just did a blanket stitch now on the right side so that I have a little bit of stitching showing. And you can do that as well. I'm not going to... Uh, show you how I do that because you already know how to do the blanket stitch. A bit of a conundrum here. There we go. It's clipping off my goose tails. But what I did do, and I think this is probably um, not a bad idea, is I took the bottom and I have my hot glue gun going. And what I'm going to do is just put some little dots on the bottom to make this a non-skid surface because Lord knows the way that my day is going today. I probably will put these on and fall head first because I slid. So I'm just doing a, a few rows of the non-slip. Just little dots. You could do squigglies too if you wanted to. Okay, unplug my glue gun. 
let that dry for a moment. And in the meantime, I'm going to get a crochet hook. And I have some purple yarn. And what I want to do is the same thing I did on the other booty. And that is to go in just at the ankle area and bring that through so that I can um, tighten things up. So I just I put my hook through, grab onto my yarn, and bring it right through. And I just tie a, a nice knot in the end here so that it's not going to slide back through again. I put a couple little ties here, little knots. And I leave that dangling so that once once it on, it's on, I can just fasten it, tie it. And I'm just going to go through every once in a while, do the same thing, pull it through. Trying not to get that hot glue all over everything because I just glued the bottom. Okay. So through. this side. Oops, that's what I did. I'm gluing my sock right to the table. Told you it wasn't my day. And if you don't have a crochet hook, if you watched any of my other videos, you know that you can take a paper clip and unfurl one end and do the same thing in terms of using it like a crochet hook. Okay. Almost there. Okay, I'm all the way around and I'm going to do the same thing as I'm going to put a knot in the end. Okay, my glue is mostly dry now. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off, and I'll do this off screen, I'm going to finish off by doing the blanket stitch all the way around just so that it's um, a little decorative and it also reinforces because I, you know, I certainly don't want these to come apart. So I'm just going to get started and show you the blanket stitch once more so that you can see what I mean. And I'm going to try to go back through where I've already been. So I'm going to see on the bottom here, I see where my stitches are. And I'm going to come back through those same stitches.
So my advice to you is make sure you have enough of your embroidery floss in the same color so that you can finish your project in one sitting. This whole project probably will take you 45 minutes to an hour if you have all your materials together and you don't make a big mess of knots the way I seem to be trying to do here. Um, I'd say a good 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, and you should be able to wear your slipper socks at the end of your crafting session. Okay, I'm just gonna get this one last stitch in here. You can see the blanket stitch. All right, that's Bernie from the Walworth Library signing off for today with my slipper socks and I'm going to finish these up and put them on and have some toasty feet tonight. Happy crafting. See you next time.